There was a huge space dedicated to self-driving cars at the Las Vegas Convention Center, and big brands such as Nissan, Hyundai, and VW did their best to fill it with some intriguing autonomous cars. It's Faraday Future which is grabbing the headlines though with the FF91. This electric car can go from 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds, goes 378 miles on a single charge, and goes into full production in 2018. Huge onboard tablets, doors that open automatically because the car recognises your face, and self-driving, self-parking sensors make this car one of the most exciting we saw at CES. A car that's a bit further out is the Volkswagen ID. Expected to release in 2020, the ID doesn't even have a steering wheel. It looks even more sci-fi than the FF91 with sterile white fixtures and blue neon. The only other colour we saw was the red seatbelt clips. You may not be able to steer the ID, but we did notice some pedals in the car, so you can at least stop it if things get a little hairy. Nissan had its own self-driving car, but it was more realistic about the limitations. The IDS has sensors galore that allow it to navigate roads and slow down for traffic and pedestrians. If it encounters a situation it can't understand, it falls back on seamless autonomous mobility. The system is like troubleshooting for autonomous cars. The IDS will pull over and contact a help centre, which will guide it through the problem. The solution will then be shared with other IDSs to avoid the problem in the future. The IDS is a ways off, but the Hyundai Ioniq, a car you can drive today, is getting an autonomous update. Like other self-driving cars, sensors alert the Ioniq to traffic, pedestrians, and gives it a sense of where it is. It relays its surroundings to a built-in map, which highlights the chief drawback. If your area hasn't been mapped, then you'll need to put your hands back on the wheel. For more coverage on autonomous cars and everything else we've seen at CES, check Witch Tech Daily.